going on guys? Welcome to today's video. Let me close the window. Um, heading to Callie's house now. Gonna finalize a couple things on the Z. Just make sure it's you know ready to go on the trailer. We're ready to go to the event. Um, I called and reserved a U-Haul truck because, like I said, the van is not registered. I don't want to drive it if I don't have to. And um, yeah, I mean that should be registered pretty soon, probably next month. But I'm just gonna try to get this done as fast as I can, go home and go to sleep. And then, yeah, I'll just drive there in the morning or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what we do, but I'll see you guys at Callie's house. Uh, both of her parents are at work, and I couldn't get into the uh, garage because I locked it last night. So, not sick. Um, so now, I don't even know. I might just go pick up the truck and, yeah, and we'll, we'll, we'll see. Tools, oil, all the goods. It's weird seeing this again. I feel like it's last summer. Hell yeah. It's alright. The van's gonna get freaking pimped out pretty soon too. Pimped out and registered. Well, I'm gonna give Ronnie a call right now and make the uh, trek to his house and grab the trailer. And then we'll be back to load up Cali Z. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, hopefully hopefully everything's good I want to do one thing and that's just strap down the motor mount just to give it a little bit more you know rigidity ah stupid GPS freaking taking me to Ronnie's on the merit no commercial vehicles on the damn merit oh shit now that I'm in this really quiet nice new truck I can I'll, I'll tell you a quick story you know I'll tell you a little quick story so basically for those who don't know the merit Parkway is I don't know if every state has these but it's basically it's a highway like it's a whole highway it goes from like all the way up north to like friggin New York so the thing with the merit is it's two lanes it's supposed to be like a scenic highway uh, it's meant to like diverge traffic from like 91 and 84 blah blah, blah you know it's, it's one of those it's a small highway so because it's a small highway there's no commercial vehicles allowed like the biggest thing on it it should be like an SUV which you know that right there is an SUV but there's supposed to be no commercial vehicles which means no stickers or advertisement on anything even if it's your personal business you cannot be on the merit if you have combination plates you can't be on the merit if you're towing anything you can't be on the merit nothing and, and the biggest reason for that is there's low bridges and by low bridges I mean like 11 foot 8 and you know what happens 11 foot 8 so that's that's the you know that's the reason that people aren't supposed to be on here and uh one time once upon a time the first time i ever went to trumbull which that's obviously whatever you guys don't know where that is but it's it's kind of far from my house but not really it's like 40 minutes but i went there you know and uh basically we were chilling like for the day uh, when it was time for me to go home I drove my Z obviously when it was time to go home uh, I left said goodbye whatever you know this is before we even dated basically I was driving down and right by uh, Trumbull Center which is like almost to the highway so like I, I got lucky kind of because I could pull into there and there was a place to park for me so it's just like a little shopping center I'm bad with explaining things I know I, I a lot of times I say shit and you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, but I'm trying to explain it. Um, so I, lo I lost my pedal. So I was like, all right, my battery's dead. My alternator's probably shot, which it was. And when you lose power on a Z, you lose throttle because it's electronic throttle body. So I was pressing the gas, it wasn't doing nothing. So I coasted in there. And uh, anyways, to make a long story short, Orion came to the rescue with the dually and the 30-foot two-car enclosed trailer on the Merritt Parkway from Wallingford to Trumbull, which is a 40-minute, pretty much like a 40-minute drive, 45-minute drive, all on the Merritt, and he was getting dirty looks the whole time. And then we were in the we were in the the Trumbull Center place, and like all these kids on bikes helped me push, uh, helped me and Orion push the Z into the freaking trailer, and then we went back to Wallingford on the damn Merritt with the truck in a 30 foot trailer. Uh, shot times, but that's the end of story time. I'll see you at Ronnie's. Just figured that'd be a funny thing to say since I'm 
kind of technically illegally on the merit. There's no way I'm not. There's no there's no way I'm getting this back in time tomorrow. This? Yeah, hell no. It's gonna be $20 instead of 1995 in town. Hey, where's the speed sensor on these things? Just unplug it, they won't even know. <laughs> so problem uh, number one. This is too big for this. This is Ronnie's farm though. Volkswagen. You guys, you guys know. No, actually, you guys don't know. But this is Ronnie's setup. I'm hit for a hitch, though. And this is the new Jamie. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> oh, now they're quiet. <laughs> yeah. I think this one might work. Oh, I was just gonna deliver bad news. Maybe good news. Alright, Ronnie robbed the uh, adapter off that there farm truck. I mean, race truck. Now it works. Dope. Here's your phone. Yeah, apparently you all trucks have this, but there's nothing in here. So even if you get this out, you still gotta get a freaking, you gotta rob one of your trucks at home. Now what do we need now? Just a license plate. The dealer plate. Oh, not both of them are up there. <laughs> well, it's already much later than expected. Thank you to U-Haul. Um, so, for the night, I'm going to go to Callie's house, ratchet strap that friggin' motor mount, and uh, load the thing up and then go home because I still have to edit. Uh, like I said, I was going to sleep over, but didn't bring any... Oh, dude, I need a helmet. Fucking hell, I almost forgot. I forgot that, too. See how much of a mess I am? I don't have that big of a head. I should fit. Fuck! Damn it! Does that mean? I All right, guys. Well, it is like I don't know what time it is. It's 8:30. I didn't think it was gonna be 8:30. Well, it's. It's, it's 8.30 already, I have to go to the shop, get my helmet, go to Callie's, ratchet strap the motor mount, freaking load her car up, go home, edit, oh man. And she just texted me saying she forgot her freaking, her check at work. We're both, we're both so shot right now, but I don't know. I gotta go to the shop, I'll just see you guys when I get to Callie's, I'm not even gonna think about filming. Light, thank you. Oh. All right, cars, I'll see you. I don't know, Monday. Peace out. Oh, God. Now to Callie's, load up the car, then to my house. Okay, well, I gotta go say bye to Callie. We got the stuff all hooked up. Shout out to Callie's dad. All right, well, I got Callie's helmet. I got the car right here. I'm dead sweating. Me and Callie's dad just strapped this thing up. Let's get the hell out of here. Callie doesn't know, but I'm gonna go to the car wash for her, even though it's late. Ah. <sighs>
Oh man. All right. Well, I know you guys can't see me, but I'm out. Good night. I it is 11:46. By the time I get home, it'll be probably 12 something. Um, yeah. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, stay tuned for the drift event tomorrow. Today's been an, a complete and utter shit show. <sighs> Man. All right. See you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.